goodness. Come on, Tim. I'll do it. What up, faggots? No, 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 no. I'll do it. <laughs> What's up, faggots? Hey. Sounds like a lot of hoopla to make over a little Krabby Patty, right? <laughs> Wrong. It's nighttime and it's late time. What? It's late time? <laughs> Welcome it's... to our late night discussion of Fruits Basket, mm. the anime. The, the beautiful anime that we all enjoyed so oh, very geez. much. Don't give me the... I mean, every minute. When you call me, say, hey, it's Fruits, it's fruits Basket time, I'm like, yes. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> so today, we just watched, we just finished the last finale episode mm. of Fruits Basket. The epic finale. Episode 26. The final countdown, baby. And now, if I've uploaded this on time, it is now 7 o'clock. Mm. That night, and mm. we're gonna we're gonna talk about the anime and uh, kind of review it, kind of give our overall impressions of what we thought of it, mm. and um, I don't know. That's pretty much it. Just have a discussion. This could go anywhere. We could talk True. about anything, do anything, but we are gonna try to stay on task with fruits basket. So, yeah, David. Mm. Oh, you know what? We didn't even say this too. Obviously, James Jackie Gray is not here. Oh, yeah. and I, I, he's just you know. I don't know what to say. He's just. He's just. Um, and I don't even think we're gonna have Jackie Gray ever again. Yeah, we better just consider. <laughs> we better just edit out the yeah. picture. I drew this <laughs> all for him, and now he's not even here. So yeah, we should just expect Jackie Gray to not um, be a part be of the here, show. Be anymore. a part of the show anymore, mm -hmm. and he'll be a guest every now and again. And Most likely, our gay friend Isaac. Oh, you know, I wouldn't mind having having Isaac yeah. in on the show, man. That'd be pretty nice. Mm -hmm. But yes, so David, give me your you are first as always, mm. and give me your 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 quick thoughts on that entire fruits basket from beginning to end. Okay, so so okay, so first impressions, I guess. When it first started, I uh, you know I had a bad feeling, only because. I don't know. I mean, I've I've never. I don't think I've ever watched an older. Cru I know you crucify me if you want, <laughs> but I don't think I've ever watched an older anime that I enjoyed. Mm -hmm. um, Dragon Ball Z included. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> I could never get into Dragon Ball Z. You know, I, I read a bit of the manga and it was pretty exciting actually. Yeah, and, and there's too much screaming. I could never get into it because everyone's screaming. What, in the manga. Screaming. You know, we don't have to deal with screaming. True. So, I read the manga, first few pages, and then, like, Goku kills this guy, and then he goes to, like, the hell of the DBZ universe, <laughs> and he has to cross this bridge that's, like, a million miles long, mm -hmm. or something, and I just got bored and stopped. Wow. Okay. <laughs> well, Fruits Basket... <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, uh... It could... you know, And... I don't know, like... You could yell at me and say, Oh, you just don't like the old animation. You just want it to look pretty. And that is a part that's of true. it. That's true. That is a part of it. You know, that's one of the reasons I love Begata so much. You know, I'm not a fan. because it's beautifully drawn. I'm not a fan of the 90s anime no, art style. No, no, I no. I never really I was. don't like it at all. Even though this was in like 2006 or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of in that style, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so... Yeah, I didn't like the, the style. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I knew. And you know, to this day, it baffles me why that was in my queue on uh, on Kiss Anime. On Kiss, Kiss Anime? Yeah. Hmm. I, I remember watching like a review or something, like Top 10 Anime or something like that. And then, <laughs> I, and then it was on my queue, and I never watched it. And then when you told me, hey, this is our next anime for the show, I'm like, oh, I have that in my queue. No, the sad thing about that is is that um, I could, we just got off of watching... Um, Free. Free. Was that, was that before this? Uh, yes. Nothing before? Nothing after? No, no, no. Because, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first... No, no, no. We tried watching Rin, Daughters of Manasane. Oh, that didn't... That was not... Yeah, we could yeah and that didn't work out. <laughs> for reasons. And then so we, we then went to watch Free... And I, we were watching Free because um, it, it was told to be such a good anime, 
And but it was people also, did rave yeah. about it. They said it was no, great. I thought it was kind of good, but it never brought the feels like like everyone was telling me. All the girls were telling me that it was oh it was so good. I should have known. Only the girls were talking about <laughs> it. And so I was like, I was like, okay, I'll give it a shot. And then we watched it, and we had a ton of fun ragging on it and how terrible. Yeah, I didn't we enjoy thought it how, at all. Like how I mean, the art was good, the music was great, but we were ragging on its story, plot, and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. that was a blast. And we tried watching another. But anyway, the point is, oh, is another. That, yeah, we were coming off That's of a bad and a good anime, in our opinion. Right. And we thought that it'd be. We thought we had so much good time ragging on free. We thought it'd be a good idea to bring in another anime like that. Uh, yeah. And that's when I started searching the top greatest. Um, uh, uh, shoujo anime that are out there and Fruits Basket was like the greatest shoujo anime of all time and I was like this is it this is the one we're gonna watch and so I had high expectations reg- even though it was a shoujo anime mm-hmm. um, but it, it was it was in every way a shoujo anime <laughs> in every yeah every but yeah, I mean, at the beginning, it was good. At the beginning, I was like, you know what? I think I could like this. You and me, we actually were enjoying the first five episodes, I think. Are I remember. We? I think so, yeah. Right, right. It's been a long time, man. It's been too long, man. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, I, 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 I may have had positive first impressions. But, I mean, as soon as I started playing, I, I didn't want to judge it based on the art. Right. But it was below my standards. Like, oh, it's so old and badly drawn. Like, well, not badly drawn, but I don't know. Okay, this, well, let's see. Okay, so the colors and everything. Okay, so you're giving your first impression. There's some things I want to get into, but oh, you got it. Let's finish up with um, what you were your first impression. So you said that it was. I didn't like the art. Didn't like the art. What uh, about like stories, character, the plot, and all that? Uh, I you know I actually didn't really understand what was going on. To be honest, I was pretty confused. Uh, that could have been because we were talking so much. <laughs> but I did, you guys had to explain to me that she, like, what even happened? She she was living with her grandpa, right? Oh, I remember. Yeah, she was living with her grandpa. And she and had she to, was, okay, was, so she was, uh, she had to find work. Oh, her mom died in the car accident, which was so weird because like the way that she explained her mom dying in the car accident, she was like, well, one day my mom went to the grocery store or something like that. And she, and she sounded all happy about it. She was like, and one day she didn't come home. And I was like, what? <laughs> that is a good thing. <laughs> and the music was like peaceful. It was like, it was like, uh, God, there was like bad a editing. <laughs> yeah. I did not like I didn't like. Can I just say this? <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. I, I. I. Maybe it wasn't bad editing necessarily, but I feel like there were times where the music was so lighthearted and the music always sounded like a lullaby. It was putting you to sleep. It was like one of those wind yeah, up tink, it, tink boxes. Yeah, right? yeah. And I always felt like tired and like oh, I don't want to sit through this. So what happened was, um, yeah, so she was walking through the forest or something, right? Or no, no, no. She had to move she was out, in a right? Tent. Oh, no, no, okay. Why did she all, move out? It's all coming back to me now. It's because she didn't want to be a burden on her grandpa. Right. And so she wanted to move out and live on her own and get her own job and stuff. And so she went out, got a job, but she couldn't afford a home. So she was homeless, living in a tent on the Soma property. And then we have Keo and the purple hair dude. Um, what's his name, dude? <laughs> we watched you 26 episodes and we can't even remember his name. You mean High School Girls guy? High School Girls? No, 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 not him. Not him. What's his name, dude? Purple hair. Purple hair? Yeah, purple hair and the brown hair dude. Him? Yeah. The cat. Uh, he's a cat, right? No, no. the mouse, dude. The cat. <laughs> no, he's a, he's a mouse. <laughs> the purple hair dude is a mouse. And the... The, the 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 high school curl pedophile one is a dog. Hmm. Right. Let's find out right now. Hold on. Where's the details? Characters, details. Characters and staff. Dude. Where'd you see that? Right there. Characters and staff. Characters and staff. Okay, so on uh, Soma, Yuki. Oh, Yuki. Kyo and Yuki Shiguri. Okay. Okay. So. Kyo and Yuki was walking down and they find this girl in a tent 
And they're like, you can't live here. You have to live with us because you can't just live out in the wilderness. This is terrible mm. on our property, mind you. Mm -hmm. And so they invite her back to the house and it was super like creepy, super rapey where they were like, they were like, uh, if you, you can stay with us, but you, you must be in service to us. And she was like, oh, of course. All right. Three <laughs> men I don't know. I'll come in your home. Oh, and, my God. And, and oh, it was awful. <laughs> and so she goes in the house and she becomes their maid, basically. That's the whole premise is that she's their maid. And then she learns the value of love and friendship and all the gay ass faggoty things you could even imagine. Did, did, I, did I cut you off in your first impressions? No. Is, is that, are you done? Cause I, Pretty much. I just, I didn't like the art and I didn't know what was going on. Right. And now see, that's... But okay, so my first impression is pretty much everything you said. I don't like the art. Um, the, I, I felt the editing was kind of just normal average. The art was bad, right? I didn't like the plot. No, the, the plot was interesting, I guess you can say. Girls are living on her own. Mother died. She meets these Zodiacs. But there was nothing, inter nothing the, interesting the, happened. The, 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 the performance, is that it? Performance? Well, I, I don't know what you're trying to say. Uh, okay. Like, a story can be interesting, but if you don't tell it well, I guess. Or in this case, it was present told, it well. Yeah, it was told extremely slow. Yeah. And, um... Like, you can make anything boring if you... Right. Do it right. <laughs> right. And it's just, I, she was supposed to, like, develop, and I felt like she never did. Yeah, it's true, huh? She always was just... Um, yeah. <laughs> she was always crying that bitch she was always whining about everything every episode felt like a filler there was never like an episode where it was like alright yeah and always goofing around there's an episode where they meet this cow dude and he turns into a cow and he <laughs> and he's like he, he he and he looks like he'd be a zodiac hunter mm -hmm. just cause he's all like dressed in like goth stuff right and then he turns out to just be a zodiac Mm -hmm. I felt like the episodes, they got really wild, where like every time, or in every episode at the beginning, we would be so confused at the beginning of every episode because it would just, they would just go nuts. It would like, it, screaming and yelling and Zodiacs turning into That's animals. And there were, there were some episodes where I got exhausted. I was like, this is too much, it's too chaotic. It was, it was, chill, please. Yeah, everything was too exaggerated. Oh, no, okay, man. reviews said that prison school was exaggerated, but no. Freaking Fruits Basket was an exaggerated animal. Yeah. Just, all the expressions, the, the themes were just really super exaggerated. Oh, that one character who screamed every line of dialogue. Are you talking about the um the Long lady hair. that had the uh the the spa? Or Kagura, the girlfriend? A guy with white hair. You're not Long talking white hair. You're not talking about my boo. Uh what's his name? Um I gotta bring up. Wasn't the name he the one who again. yelled every line? Um the the white one, the the one that was like, welcome. Oh like I No 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 no, no not him. He came call. in, he came no, he was cool. No, this guy comes in much later. With white hair screaming all the time? Yeah. Uh, is that your cool dude? Yeah. I no, got not me. him. Keep snake going. Snake dude? Not snake dude? Uh, Kisa was adorable. Yeah. Um, oh, what? These are just the main characters, I guess. Uh, are you sure white I hair? The sworn. only person with white hair is Ayama. Ayame. Oh, he, can't, he was in like the last two episodes. And he was screaming all the here, time? Here, can we go to the wiki? The uh, fruit, fruit basket I wiki? I got the wiki on this other screen here. Okay. Uh, type characters. Go to characters. But there usually is a character. No, this is just Wikipedia. This isn't the oh, not fruits the basket. No, wiki. I tried to go to the fruits basket wiki and and it just uh, it wasn't like uh, it wasn't there. Whoops. Fruits basket wiki fandom. Yeah, wiki. This this page. Okay. Main character. And then search right there. Oh, well, we don't know his name. Okay, go down. Uh. Oh, I know. Are you gonna see it when you see it? Is he cursed? Uh. Do. Dude, I, don't, I think you're tripping. I, th bro. I think he was a monkey. Try Ritsu. A monkey. Yeah, I think it's a, a monkey. Monkey. I think that's him. Oh, okay. no, that was the that was the the transgender. <laughs> that was the woman in a dude's body. Did one. he? Is he the one who came in like on the la second to last episode? I think so. He is a and monkey. He though, right? a lot. Wait, hold on. What's his? Yeah, I think that's the one because I remember I remember us saying, "Dude, his animal totally matches his loud, annoying personality." Yeah. Oh yeah, I monkey. Think, I think it was him. He's loud. So he doesn't have white hair. Because he's all, no, he was always apologizing for himself and his misdeeds or whatever. Yeah, but he'd yell. Ah, so annoying. 
So our first impressions is that the art was bad, the storytelling was way drawn out. It was, I was it's unfocused. I think is a good way to explain. It, it was very unfocused. Didn't interest me, which um, is really a shame. And there was no, there was no sense of urgency. There was no. Um, there was no consequence to any of this. What we're dealing with Karen right now. There was no, like, like if, if they no didn't... No stakes? Yeah, there was no stakes. And, I mean, you can have stakes in, like, losing friends. Like, you can talk about that in, 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 so, in social sociology and yeah, stuff. People, people but, have, yeah. But it just felt like... It felt like there wasn't... There wasn't, uh... I didn't care for the characters. There, I mean, you know, it was... You know, I actually did like Kyo's past a little bit. How he was always the misfit. Mm. And how, like, everybody hated him. But it it just wasn't quite enough, and and the idea that Kyo and 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 well, you know, this isn't a bad thing to the story though. But how Kyo and the purple hair dude, uh, you the rivalry, the, yeah, their rivalry trying to go after, um, Toru, that was really annoying. But it was not against the story. I, I'm not knocking the points for that. I'm just making a note. And then it just it actually you know what? Okay, it is knocking the story because it made me hate Toru. Toru was supposed to be our main character, but yet she was like a brat. She's always whining, hmm. and she's freaking an egotist, or an ego, ego, she's egotistically altruistic. That bugged the crap out of me. I didn't, I didn't believe her for a second that she cared about anybody but herself. Mm. Um, she just needed, she needed to feel useful. She didn't give a shit about anybody and their problems. They, she just needed to f fix everything. She was like OCD trying to fix everything, and it was a really annoying character. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the writers were thinking. It was just, it wasn't a character I could get myself into. Mm hmm Yeah, and it's funny because, to be honest, I would almost, like, I can't really say because I've only watched it in English, but I'd almost be willing to bet I might enjoy it a little better in Japanese just because no, that's what the people voice keep acting the was so awful. Dude, there, there, there are some people in the comments that have been telling us that, yeah, dude, you guys need to watch it in Japanese. I and And not awful as in poorly done, but they were just annoying. Yeah, that, that that's the problem, especially with older animes that... Yeah. For some reason, Funimation or whoever makes them uh, thinks that, oh yeah, let's just, when he poured it over to English, let's just give him the most annoying, like not, <laughs> not even American cartoons have these voices. It's only Japanese yeah, American cartoons. American cartoons have, some of them have really good voice acting. So I don't understand why these, the, the publishers think that they then again, need to do that. Then again, know? I mean, when we send trans Japanese translations of our cartoons, who knows? Maybe they <laughs> maybe they think they suck. <laughs> True. They probably don't watch our show though. They probably don't. They're they're like, anime is too good. Yeah. Like, they yeah. probably don't even watch our stuff. But yeah, it's probably it's probably a a translation issue, a culture issue. I don't know. I could. But I mean, begin. I've watched some animes with really good English voice acting. Like they really did hire some good voice actors. Yeah, they're and, out there. Absolutely. Yeah. But, this um, was just that was terrible. Toru's yeah. voice, I never want to hear her voice ever again. No. That was awful in her <laughs> face. Ugh, why would you design a face like she, that? Like she, she had the did, worst face. She just had a I don't hate her face. It just looked very derpy. <laughs> like two like the wiki right here shows uh, perfectly on your right Wikipedia. Uh, well, I wanted to bring it up on this page here. Oh. Hold on. Ah, my mouse is getting stuck in a, a wire here. Yeah. Hold on. Uh Toru there she is. Look at this disgusting face. Oh, these damn wikis take it for disgusting. Like, ew. Well, I, no, I want, I want like a frontal. Oh. Like, give me that. <laughs> give me that one. Oh. Yeah, look at that. Like, she's got the perfect she's, derp face. Yeah, like her mouth is really high and her eyes are really low. So her, it's like that emote that I like to use <laughs> in text, where like yeah. you got eyes like on the sides of your mouth. <laughs> Look at her face, dude. She's so fucking derpy. Dude. Yeah, she's just a, a really derpy these are face. The, these, ah, uh, whoa, she's she's asking for it there. That's a that's a please take advantage of me face. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my body is ready. Uh, in your arms. No, this this shows for little kids, man. They didn't have any. No, but they swore too. They said, "What the hell?" I think they said, "Damn it." Yeah, yeah. So I mean, <laughs> it's just you, Toru, man. I there, there we go. There's the face. <laughs> There's the derp. That like I might even make that my profile picture <laughs> just because it's so funny. If a girl made that face to me, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say anything. I would just turn around. That would and walk be scary. Away. Yeah, I'd like be too excited, bro. Uh, anyway, yeah. So yeah, it's just I don't know. But everyone says it's so great, but I feel like we hate it so much. <laughs> I don't think good Japanese voices are gonna help. And I did also say I did also Man, hear that the manga not. the manga was better too. 
I look I skimmed through it and despite the fact that I didn't read too much, like I still got a little more emotion from it. Yeah. But that's because I can picture my own And you could you voices. can um I don't know. What's it called? You can Oh man, what's it called when you portray your own self? You project you project your own feelings and emotion yeah, into that's your what words I was saying, and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and I and I really wish before this review I had read more of the manga just so I could say more, but Right, right. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, do you want to get into reviews? Sure. Yeah, Sounds might fun. as well. I feel like we we've gone over our yeah. first impressions. Yeah, I we, just we've made well, not just points. first impressions, just our whole opinion for the whole anime, right? Yeah. Or do we have well, more? I don't think we dived into anything yet. Hmm. Really, we didn't. Are we dive gonna do that? that? Well, if we can remember what we watched, yes. Okay. We didn't watch it all last night, so. Well, can I say the ending was like? Lame. Yeah, go ahead. Say whatever like on your mind, good sir. <laughs> like it was. Like, I remember you telling me that you saw this gif yeah. of a uh, oh, yes. fruits basket. I looked for it and couldn't find it, but you told me, you described it. You're like, oh, dude, David, it was raining, the, the Toru was crying, and there was this big, creepy, like, Egyptian cat monster, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> and I was like, whoa, this is going to get good. And then we get closer and closer to the end, and it isn't getting any better. And the story isn't progressing at all until, like, the last three episodes. Yeah, and then we finally get to the second to last episode. And where is it, dude? And he transforms and runs off, and I'm like, oh, I have a bad feeling. I don't think it's going to be good. And even if the last episode is amazing, it's not going to make up for the, what, what like, 30... Uh, it was 20, 26 episodes. 25 bad episodes. Right. So... I was really disappointed to find that that episode. Then he was ugly too. <laughs> he was so he was ugly. Hideous. <laughs> he, he was ugly, bro. And so he um. I don't know what I did with that gif, but everyone funny. knows what we're talking about. The mm-hmm. one where they're crying and and Keo's the big Egyptian cat looking thing, and he's he's. Uh, you just made it sound so epic, and I was excited for that. And it looked epic yeah. in the gif. And then the episode's like, and it still has like lame like cheery music, like. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Like trying to be sad, but like if it's gonna be sad, I like what Naruto does. It has like a violin. They do a really right. good job. On oh, that here music. it is. It was this GIF. That one? Yeah, this is the one I sent you. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That would if I had seen this GIF before watching the anime, I would have been like, oh, dude, I'm gonna watch this. Yeah, this looks badass. If the whole yeah. thing, look, her face isn't even annoying. Mm-hmm. Like, I remember um, in this scene, I remember saying, oh, man, Toru was kind of hot. Like, I remember commenting on, on her and like, when? This, kinda, uh, this episode, the the last couple episodes. Oh, yeah. Were we saying she looked, like, better this? Yeah, like, the because she was, was different. <laughs> because, oh. Uh, her eyes were probably closed half the time. <laughs> but, I mean, like, all this, this looks great, man. If you were to see this, I'd be like, all right. I'd yeah. be willing to see this. Like, mm-hmm. all emotion. I don't need action, but emotion at least. If you want to, if you want to pull a good prank on someone. <laughs> Tell him, dude, Fruits Basket Man, show him this gif, show him this gif, and be like, dude, this show is bad at, show him the gif, and then have him watch it, and wait for them to come back, and be like, what the hell, yeah, it's like, and, 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 and a few episodes in, they're like, what happened, you're like, no, no, wait for it, wait for it, it's coming, it's coming, like they did with us, and, and Free, I remember watching Free, and I was, I was telling the girls that were trying to tell me to watch it, you like, watched I, it before we watched it? Yeah, I watched, oh. I watched up to like episode 8 with my friend Matt, and uh, we were did watching, did Matt like it? Uh, we we thought it was okay. Mm-hmm. We didn't we didn't like it too much. And the girls kept saying, "Wait, it gets real. It gets deep. Just wait. Just wait. It gets better and better." And then every episode, me and Matt were like, "No, nah, not you. Not there yet. Not there." And then when we watched it, we were waiting the whole time, and the, a- the anime ended. We we're like, "What? Where was it? Mm-hmm. Where was this epic feels?" Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't it's, know. <laughs> and you know what? It's funny because that kind of reminds me. Um, I don't remember the name of this YouTuber, but he's a huge anime fan, and uh, he made a he made a point that I thought was pretty spot on. He said that he has ne- that people there's a rule in the anime world. You guys have probably heard of it. I'm sure you've heard of it, Tim. It's called the, uh, the three episode yeah rule. the three episode rule. And so what the the idea of that rule is it it usually takes about two to three episodes for the story to kind of develop. And right. get interesting, mm-hmm. but his argument was that he has never watched an anime that wasn't that didn't capture his interest from episode one. And you know what? I would agree with that. All the anime, I, I don't think you should have to wait three episodes for it to be interesting. What do you think? 
Well, I think that three episodes is playing it safe. Look, if you watch an anime and you're captivated in the first episode, more power to you. That's great. Mm-hmm. But if you don't like an anime and mm-hmm. the first episode, I would you recommend... You feel like you should still give it a yeah, chance? Yeah, give it a three episode chance because... Because you never know. I mean, for me, when I first started watching anime, um, I was not into it. And the first anime that I ever really watched was actually Trigun. That was my first anime. Mm, Did you like it? I loved it. I want to watch that again, actually. Trigun was good. Were the first episodes good? Um, you know, no, I, I, cause I hated anime. I, I if I, if I watched you that. You were one of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah, You no. were a James. <laughs> yeah, this is back when, like, in high school, though, or early high school, I didn't, I thought anime was stupid. I, I also, think, I think we all did younger, cause. Yeah, and I never wanted to read, too. Yeah. And, and, you know, I never really wanted to, everyone was telling me you gotta read, everyone that, everyone that liked anime at the time, that was my friend, and even now, except you, liked it in, in Japanese. They would not. They, if they wanted to show me an anime, it was like watching in Japanese, and I hated reading. So mm-hmm. you know, it was just bad. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Trigun. And then the first anime that I actually loved, like it was like my baby, was Ergo Proxy. That anime was amazing. Mm-hmm. Then Death Note and, and many others followed. But um, yeah, I would I would say that yeah, give it three episodes. That couldn't hurt, you know. Play it safe. But but if you don't like it on episode one, you can probably bet that you're not gonna like the anime. Yeah. Just 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 know that you're not gonna like it, and then just 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 plow through the next two episodes just in case something good happens and if you don't like it by episode three then you're probably never gonna like it and you should just just let it go don't, mm-hmm. don't even bother don't try it mm-hmm. don't try it okay yeah that, that makes sense I agree with that well Review I time. guess let's get into some of these reviews yeah. here okay, such a shame opinion. couldn't be as good as that GIF alright you just wanna start with this one you wanna read it or shall I I'll read it wait go ahead, one above it sir. what what just many above it. Uh, yeah, I scrolled down. I want to get into it a little bit. Oh, this okay, okay. Really die. Oh, my God. He goes over every character. Okay. Shall we, I guess? You want if to read you this want big to. one? You want to read this one or the one below it? What You're reading. <laughs> you said you wanted to read. I'll do it. Whichever one you like. Wait, wait. This one says animation sound characters. Go up. Enjoy. I'll, I'll read this one. I want to read this one. Okay. So, go, let me see his rating. Uh, Rating five, I guess, out of ten. Oh. Wait, are these doing ten? Oh, wait, five. That's pretty bad. Wait, mid mid range? All right, well, let's see here. Let's see. Fruits Basket is a show that might certainly sound interesting. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I can already tell he's he's. This is our kind of guy. All right. Okay. <laughs> it might sound interesting the moment you check the synopsis. Synopsis. People turning into the Chinese zodiac animals. Dark and mysterious secrets surrounding them. Cute, clueless main heroine. Isn't that a great premise for a shojo series? But only as long as it's executed accordingly. Yes, that's, that's what true. I said. Mm-hmm. I decided to watch like if if someone else directed this, like uh, what's a good? I can't think of anyone, but there they should have. Yeah. No, no, yeah. For a show drama, it was a good premise because you have you have the girl that gets the boys that all want a piece of her and all that stuff. She's like, a bad director who, uh, who made yeah. it boring. <laughs> yeah. No, but the Zodiac was such an interesting premise. If they would have dove into like, like, oh, remember the episodes where we dove into, um, it was, it was the, just being isolated as a Zodiac. How all your friends, if they find out you're a Zodiac, they get their memory wiped. And you can't be with the girl who's not because Zodiac. Because you turn into one. Cause, cause, yeah, cause you turn into an animal and then... Well, yeah. So the alone yeah, you have to, if you want to hook up, it has to be with another Zodiac. Girl. Yeah, incest with your sister. Oh. Well, they're not cousins and stuff. They're like they're not all brothers and second, sisters. I know. I want to fuck my second cousin. <laughs> but, no, but yeah, if they would have. I think that would have been a more. really in. Oh yeah, go ahead. Well, we just said the same thing. Oh okay, yeah, I think that would have been so like ah, imagine like the search for someone who's another Zodiac like. You know, I just mm-hmm. think that would have been cool. That's true. That would have that would have really brought in the storytelling too, if you mm-hmm. had to do that. I, oh, I'm so like, lonely. Oh, and another thing. Human. Where's the twist? There are no twists except for except for Kyo being like abused or no, Yuki was. Wasn't there right? someone where we were like, oh, it's a Zodiac, and we didn't know? Mm. The seahorse guy, maybe. Yeah, I think it was the seahorse guy. It was the doctor. Well, that wouldn't make sense. I don't know. It wasn't really a twist, but. I do remember us being like, like, we, like when he fell over on her, we're like, <gasps> and then at the very end, poof. And like, oh. <laughs> so that was like the most excitement yeah. I got out of the show. But. Yeah. And, oh, and then also the scene uh, when the when it was like doing the doctor, the doctor arc. I felt like I'm talking about Doctor Who, but the doctor, <laughs> Zodiac Doctor, his arc when he was like when the, there was a girl that had was it Keo that she had? Oh, yeah, and she had fell in love. Memory. He fell in love. Yeah. He oh she he fell in love with her and then she had a baby right and then he had to wipe her memory or something. 
or someone had a wipe her memory. There was a woman who had a child and she couldn't bear having a Zodiac for her son and she had her memory wiped. I can't remember. I don't remember. Well, whatever. Anyway. That was cool. That We needed to see more of that. And we mm. needed to dive more into the psychology of being like lonely as a Zodiac. You can't yeah. hang out with people. And we kind of had that with the rice ball thing. Toru was isolated, which they did They did use that. Toru was isolated and so was a Zodiac, so she could understand. She, so she came from a, 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 an angle of, of empathy and understanding to the Zodiac. So that made her an interesting character uh, for them and, and an interaction that way. But they needed more of that. Every mm. episode just felt like a filler. It needed to be it 12 did. episodes. It didn't need yeah. to be 26. 12 good, like, 40-minute episodes. Yeah. That's why, That's why for me, I've never... You you can never really go wrong with a 12-episode anime. Those really short ones. They're, the short ones are the best. They always Because, are. I mean, even if they're not great, it's only 12 episodes, you get through it so quick. But I, I personally have never watched a 12-episode anime that was not good because their stories are so focused. I'm sure there's bad ones out there, but you don't click on one that's bad. You click on the ones that look good to you. And if they look good to you and they're 12 episodes, they're folk story-focused, then usually they turn out to be really good. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. We want to continue on the next yeah. paragraph up Yeah, here? so I decided to watch Fruits Basket after seeing how high it was rated, like me. <laughs> I wouldn't normally watch shoujo series, since I find most of them exaggerated and unrealistic. Exactly. That's why I expected Furuba. That's the Japanese title for Fruits Basket. Oh, okay. Fruits Basket to really change my opinion regarding them. Instead, I found Fruits Basket to be exactly what I mostly disliked and avoided in the genre. With a, with a really more unnatural and forced tone. Not to not to get me wrong, I do I do not hate Fruits Basket. Yet I really couldn't feel anything else besides disappointment the moment I completed it. Hmm. And this review explains why. Now, yeah, I think this guy actually agrees with us. Mm-hmm. We have the same sentiment and it, it, like we we said this in our in our first impressions a little while ago is that it did feel exaggerated all their all their motions are so exaggerated they're always flying all over the place and oh dude dude the lady that uh, that owns the the sauna and then she no no not her the lady that was trying to publish uh, Kagura not Kagura Shigura's book remember how crazy she was she's like where's Shigura and, and he kept ignoring her like oh I'll have the book for you whatever remember. His and, secretary? And she, yeah, that was, I don't think she was a secretary. I she was a her publisher. Being crazy. And she blew through the door. <laughs> she blew through the screen door after they fixed it or whatever. <laughs> and then also the lady who owned the spa, she was crazy too. She was always like, oh, forgive me. You know, I didn't do this right and blah, blah, blah. And like, she was scary as AF, dude. I don't remember. And, and so, yeah, unrealistic was crazy. And the forced tone, I guess so. Un, you know, they yeah. kind of do that all the time, I guess. Hmm. But uh, yeah, disappointment. I, I can I can agree with that that I felt disappointment just because I felt like I felt like there was no there was no resolve to anything like like and then Toru because Toru being like oh I, it sounded like she was trying to date Kyo at the end she was like oh but Kyo I want you around I want I want to wake up with you I want to eat breakfast with you I want to mm-hmm. do homework with you I want to listen now but with you know you. what they didn't really develop like their like you know she's trying to be friends with everyone. Mm. But there was no, like, interacting, like, she's trying to be his friend and him pushing her away. Like, I mean, that might have happened a few oh, times, but it, did if it did... kind of push her away. Well, he it, pushed it was her all, away. Like, it, wasn't perf- it wasn't done right. Like, it was all goofy. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. know. That, I, don't, I can't remember. I can't really s- speak from total certainty, but I don't remember <laughs> feeling anything. I don't know. I, I think... I, I just... I uh, I don't even I I don't know I made my point already. Mm-hmm. Just just it did feel disappointing. You know what? They they did they did kind of have too many things going on to focus on what was important, don't you think? Like they have they have high school girls dude doing his books, and uh, and they have the rivalry between cat and mouse, and then Toru. Uh, I guess trying to be friends with the cat guy. Uh, her past and treating Kyo like a like a little brother she needed to take care of the whole lore of the Zodiac clan well I don't think it's too much I just think they did a terrible job at balancing it they just did a bad job at trying to make him make it all into a concise story because a lot of animes do way more than that I would think in less episodes hmm I guess 
I just yeah. felt like they were trying You're right. You're to... There was right. always like there was always like the, the, the crazy person of the week, the crazy <laughs> guest character of the week. Yeah. Like every episode or every few episodes there always was like this crazy character that just showed up and he's like wild and crazy and it's like, uh. oh learning more about the Zodiac family, but really no, you're not learning more about the Zodiac family. You're just just having these weird uh, interactions with stupid characters that are completely unrealistic, which unrealistic is not bad in itself, but just exaggerated, over the top, annoying. Like, the comedy in this, like, the comedy, it wasn't, like, clever comedy. It was just annoying comedy. It was just annoying. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was just like, getting like, mad it was like, yelling. It was like a, like a kid screaming in your ear thinking it's funny. Yeah, and they were yelling, like, in sentences, like, da 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 Like, mm-hmm. I can't think of a sentence. Yeah. But, that, like, the way they, they yelled their, ah. And then, and don't forget Ouija. Ouija. Oh, yeah, Ouija <laughs> boy. boy. It's Ouija. And with a girl a voice actor, like, that was so clearly a girl. <laughs> yeah. And then it, the boy was pretty fruity because he thought he actually was a girl. Like, he was a boy, but he felt like he was a girl. Mm. And they had the same thing with that one dude who thought he or was a girl in a dude's body. It was both the same thing, really. One was a boy, one was an older adult. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, let me let, – I got dibs on the story section here. This guy is going to explain the story way better than we ever did All in right. this last uh, right. 30 minutes or so. Yeah. All right, Faruba's story is surrounded by dramatical and emotion, emo, <laughs> emotional darkness upon which uh, Toru shines like a ray of redemptive hope. Hmm. Because of that, 50% of the story is actually made up of Toru's and sometimes other characters too. Intentional or internal, internal uh, struggling monolo- monologues, monologues. <laughs> <laughs> that pretty much unfold along the lines of is 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 right? Is it right? Isn't it right? Is it wrong? Isn't it wrong? The other 50% of the story might actually trick the viewer into believing that something's happening when it's actually just a repetition of the same overly used gags. There is no beginning, no development, no ending. It doesn't get anywhere. No development! This is what we've been saying for the past, like, several months. Yeah, no no characters changed or grew. No, I I do think it has a beginning because, I mean, every story, I mean, it starts with her... Hmm... Well, yeah, it has a beginning. She moves out, and her mom dies, and, and yeah, she lives on the same property. But it has no development as far as the characters. Like, um, <sighs> the characters just are the same characters at the end. They don't even end, like Toru doesn't even end up dating any of them. Which I thought she was going to be dating um, Yuki because Kyo had Kagura. At least Kagura loved him, whether it was uh, uh, requited or not. Is that the word requited? <laughs> requited love, unrequited love. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> you get me. You feel me, bro. Mm. Um, but yeah, I love the fact that he pointed out her monologues. Like, like remember how every episode is her talking to herself. Like she's a crazy, insane person just talking about, is this the right way to go? Was this good? Was this bad? Blah, blah, blah. I completely agree with that. That had a lot in the anime and that made it really boring too. Mm-hmm. Toru was just so stupid. Mm-hmm. She had no idea what she was doing. It was a lot of filler. Yeah. <clears throat> so the, how the, how every episode went, it just like, it's something... Something, like, happened that was non-consequential, and she just, like, narrated on it that had no substance. Or she had no substance of what was going on. It was just like, oh, I don't feel good today. This makes me feel sad. Well, why? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, and remember that bratty boy that, like, took her wallet? Yeah! His, his character was, like, so... Keith's Like, boyfriend. talking about unrealistic, like... Who... D- <laughs> <laughs> like, I get there are kids that are bratty and do mean things, but he's, like... I'm taking... I don't remember what he is. Like, I'm taking your wallet or whatever. Like, <laughs> like I... Ah, I, can't, I wish I could remember what he said. But it, it, I've, I had this feeling like, this is not even human. <laughs> like, this is so retarded. Yeah. To put it simply... Yeah, I kind of read this actually a little bit while you were talking. Oh. Splitting my attention. And uh, he actually says what you just said. Oh, should I even being, read it? <laughs> well, he says she acts dumb, like you mm-hmm. said. Uh, yeah, unbelievably nice, which in turn causes other characters to act the same way. Um, that's all I read. Just that okay. she's dumb. Kyo and Yuki fight, repeat, uh, cliche, an unfunny member of the Soma family appears. Yeah, unfunny member. Uh, unfunny member every episode is a uh, family yeah, member. Like you said, so you just repeat <laughs> that. <laughs> Kyo the and character Yuki of the fight week. again, repeat. Uh, irrelevant, ep- episodic character, but barely says a line throughout the whole series, has an entire episode dedicated to themselves, repeat. Kyo and Kiyoki fight again, and this time in more dramatic light. Repeat. Yeah, it, it is it is a bunch of repeat. Yeah, Kyo and Yuki fight. 
the crazy character comes in, and yeah. you, know, you made a point that the That's crazy true. characters, they don't even talk much. They don't even have much to say, and then they're gone. All I know about high school girls, guy, is that he likes high school girls. <laughs> high school <laughs> girls, and he one, writes, two, three. <laughs> and that he writes literature, I guess. Yeah, we don't even, what, what is, did we ever find out what literature was, or what? I'm assuming erotic. <laughs> yeah, we were joking about it was like erotic, like fiction, erotic love fiction. I don't whatever. remember. Ah, oh, jeez, man. But, but yeah, because when all the characters came in, it just felt like filler. I think he got just... the least attention, actually. Right. Yeah, he should have gotten more. Him and uh, well, Ayame got pretty good attention. Ayame was Yuki's brother, I think, or cousin, where they fought, but then they made up at the end. Mm -hmm. Yuki Ayame was my favorite. Mm. But um, yeah, they needed they needed more. Um, Attention. To, Attention. To like, when they, brought, when they bring in the characters, there needs to be a reason. Like, why don't we talk about those characters in the future? Why don't those characters coming in help Kyo and Yuki Otherwise, yeah, otherwise, there it was no reason for bringing them in. Right. They Except for your poor attempt at comedy. Yeah, it should have It should have um, helped uh, move the story along, help them in there. But, see, every... So, Yuki and Kyo and Toru, they supposedly, uh, you know, got past their struggles on their own like they didn't go oh do you remember when Ayami came in town the other day or you remember when this guy came maybe he helped us with this and maybe he's right blah 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 or like now because of what he did it's like the characters had no lasting effect when people when characters did something it they just did it for that episode and that episode alone there was no long lasting effect there was no consequences there was no long effect long lasting effect of, of any of the uh, choices that the characters made the choices were just there just to look at and to watch things fly around that's in true. The pretty colors yeah that's there was true no substance your choice, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your choices have to affect. All right. Another bad aspect of the story is that it's ridiculously sweet to the point that it loses all the bits of realism it could have had. It's clear that the creators wanted to have a mixed show that doesn't only focus on the dramatical solving of tragic events, but also contains its funny moments. This is a turn causes Furuba to have serious flaws, both in terms of ex execution and logic. Many times, the scenes change too quickly from overly serious to attempted pink, surrounded, humorous gags that pop up out of nowhere. You know, that's what we were talking about that though, is earlier. True. About, kind of, um, out of nowhere, just boom, now it's funny. Yeah, their <laughs> execution was bad. It just seemed really busy with their... with the, You said it, that... Um, Badly edited? They There's too much going on. They yeah. didn't mix it together properly. Yeah. And, and yeah, the overly pink surroundings and like goofy gags, that was annoying. Other times, the events just don't add up. A clear example of this is Toru living in a tent at the beginning of the series because she doesn't want to bother anyone, thing which the viewer should find utterly amusing. Apparently, she has a lot of uh, people that care about her, grandfather friends, yet they never check up on how she's doing. Oh, yet yeah. somehow, the rest of the relatives actually go through the trouble of hiring a detective to find out where she lives when they could have simply followed her home from school. Wait... I didn't know they hired detectives. What? We probably were not paying attention. <laughs> no, remember what? Remember the time? Wasn't there a time where she went to their house and she was like, "Oh, you're shacking up with the Soma family," and they she did visit her. at home. Yeah, and so yeah, that is a good point. We probably weren't paying attention, but that is a good point that that they never they they wondered where she was and they just they didn't even they didn't even check, like follow her home from school or yeah, anything. Yeah, through they the just, whole anime, except for the they had they hired else. a detective to find yes. her. That was a major plot hole. Yeah, except for the one episode where she visits home. Besides that episode, we never see her family. That's just stupid. So and lastly, oh, you know what I wanted to say before this? I I, I wanted to say this in in how the in the paragraph previous when it was a mix, rinse, repeat. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, like me and my friend, we were talking about, it's not really an anime, but it's an American anime-themed cartoon. Oh, Avatar. Avatar. The Last Airbender. Mm -hmm. And I remember The Last Airbender, that that went along, was it three seasons, or was it four it was more. or five? Was it seven, actually? I don't remember. I it, was it was a lot. It was a, it was a long-running series, and a lot of the episodes had fillers in it. And I'm just talking about, like, in contrast between that and uh, Legend of Car... C C Korra. Korra. <laughs> Kara. <laughs> and the legend of Korra is that Korra, they're, like, they're the same, they, they're written very similar, the, the, the art styles is very yeah. similar, it's like the same thing, but it's more condensed. Yeah, Korra is, I feel like, even more in the style of an anime because like the next episode picks up right where the last one left off, mm -hmm. where Avatar was more like an American cartoon, where... It's just like the episode of the week, you know? Yeah, I mean, there's an overarching plot. Yeah, according to you, there is an overarching plot, 
but there it's not like it's just oh this episode we're doing this this episode yeah. we're doing that and like usually the usually there was like a couple episodes in this in the in the in the season or the last few episodes in the season that would connect the overarching story yeah or really you know what it was it, it was the last few episodes always finished out the arc for that season but throughout the every episode it was always the end of the anime would would arc from the last one so the end of the anime was the over arc but the whole episode was like the episode of the week it was like its own unique story but at the very end you'd always have like Zuko in his ship like I'm getting closer to the Avatar or something mm -hmm. like that and so yeah but that that was an example of, of, of animes that or shows you know they, they could they could be the same type of story but they're just told more precise I guess mm -hmm. That was not a good thing to say because they're both great. <laughs> they're both great at cartoons. <laughs> yeah. But uh, but yeah, I just wanted to say that because dude, James still needs to finish Korra. We were watching God, that. With him. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta do that, man. Huh. But lastly, in terms of storyline, Faruba is yeah, sort of. really stretched out for the amount of events it has to, to offer. That's true. Perhaps add Faruba been a 13 episode series, and that's what you're saying, dude. This guy is like our brain right now, mm. man. Oh, maybe we wrote this. With the same amount of story, it would have actually been entertaining. It's not just the show pace that pretty much puts you to sleep. There's also the fact that uh, the sceneries, lights, and our uh, and wind are constantly emphasized uh, just so that there are. Well, I'm spacing so hard on just so that there'll be something to fill the gap and make an entire episode of something that could have been summed up in five ten minutes. Oh my God, that is so true. It was so spread out. I think we already talked about that. Did you did you want to read about the characters at all? Yeah, uh, actually, I would love to hear his opinion on our most hated characters. Toru. Uh, wait, 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 like, wait, what wait, do you mean wait. everybody? Our most hated character. Wait, wait, are you talking about? Wait, wait. Um, who's Kyo? Tio. Tio. Tar Toru. Kyo is the cat. So just the main. He's just talking about the main three. Toru's friends. And Sora, Soma's man, family members. Let, okay, I, uh, Sora members. Okay, okay, so Kyo is cat guy, right? Well, let's, let's be picky and pick just some of them. Okay, I want Kyo because he's the cat guy that All I right. really hate. Did you want to read it? Sure. Kyo is probably the only character that actually suffers some sort, <laughs> sort of development. <laughs> I agree with that. Mm -hmm. In the beginning, he's presented as a violent leak. Hate, leak? Leak. Oh, it's a type of um, vegetable, I think. Leak? Right, she would always cook him. Right, right. Yeah. Lee hating any social idiot. In the end, he's still violent and idiotic, though to a smaller scale. Mm, I, I thought it was the that. same, dude. Yeah. What is, like, wait, wait. <laughs> During the last episode, they fought on the floor. They were like rolling around fighting. Yeah. The, movie, again. the last episode. <laughs> Just as violently. But at least he isn't lonely anymore, and he's eaten leeks. Well, he's sexually lonely because <laughs> Toru won't date him. Mm. Dis well, he has a girlfriend that he pushes. Well, away apparently all the time. Kagura is not his girlfriend. She just loves him and he doesn't accept it. He doesn't want it. Uh, she's his self proclaimed girlfriend. Yes. Despite the fact that Kyo is also a, a cliche character. Yeah, he's very cliche in my opinion. He's at least enjoyable. No, he's not. <laughs> I hate him. He's so no. annoying. He's screaming, yelling, getting mad at everything. I hate him. What are you talking He's not enjoyable because he's a bit more realistic? Hmm. Uh, that's, that's a tough one. I don't know if he's realistic compared to the other characters. I don't know about that. Even when comparing him to other characters, I don't know. Kyo has a lot of personality flaws, but there's but there's one thing that compensates them. He at least sees Toru as being weird and unhealthy for herself. Is he the only one who calls her out on that? Yeah, no, yeah. Kyo is the only one that, like, is real with Toru. He is the only one that, like... Because Kyo, since he's so harsh and he's so mean, he does insult Toru. Mm -hmm. And, um... And, yeah, so he's more real with her. He insults okay. her more often, and, and, and he does he does tell her when she's being stupid. Okay. So, I feel like T Kyo is a good fit for Toru. They would have they meshed lovely. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so which all the other characters... Yeah, exactly. What I just said. Unfortunately, Kyo is never actually allowed to speak for himself since he's an outcast. Uh, when was he not allowed to speak? He's always yelling. <laughs> um, yeah, dude. I guess because he's never around when people are talking about him? I don't know. <laughs> it's clearly stated throughout the anime that the other Soma members can't stand him. Yet, as usual, it's never quite explained why. 
No, it is. He's the he's the um Zodiac. He's the cat. The but cat Zodiac is never accepted into the family. Because he because, won? Well, no, the cat Zodiac... You know what, actually? I forget how the Zodiac thing goes. They did explain it, though. It's because Didn't the Didn't the mouse win the race? No. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I don't know anything about these Zodiacs, bro. <laughs> um, I just know that the cat's not, not welcome to the dinner, and because of that, they just they match the myth. And yeah, dude, just look up the lore of the Zodiac race. So I guess he's, ex he's 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 meaning that the the lore of the Zodiac doesn't make sense. It's never explained. I guess whatever. Despite this, Kyo could have could have had a lot of development and story going on around him. Unfortunately, the ending spoiled everything. Mm, I don't know about I don't know what he means by that, but that is, yeah, he did have a lot of story to him, but we didn't really learn any of the story until. At the end. Really. Mm. Yeah, you know, I, I think sometimes you should... There are certain story elements, like elements of a character's past that you should know about earlier, so you can understand why they are the way they are. Yeah. No, I, yeah. Unless, I mean, there are some cases where it's like, you finally find out something about a character, and you're like, that's why they're that way. Uh -huh. Like, it can be done that I, way. I would have liked to see more of Kyo, for sure. Uh, more of Kyo would have been... Mm, mwah. But uh, we got a lot of Toru. And a lot of Yuki, actually. Like, they spent a lot of time with Yuki and, and, and Toru. <clears throat> the mouse? Yeah. I don't remember ever Yuki seeing was, Yuki. <laughs> what? Yuki was like... Mm, I don't remember yeah. ever seeing him. I guess you're right. Dude, I like, don't even know. He was man. like as shown as as little as high school girls was. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Well, yeah. You probably you right. You probably right. Uh, I wanted to skim over the arts and sound. Uh, real art, quick. yeah. Uh, Furuba's art and sound are, are certainly nothing exceptional, yet they're not bad either. They're all add up to the unrealistic sweet and pink impression, and Sho is trying to leave. Uh, there seems to be specific effort put into backgrounds and into often really big eyes. Oh, jeez, mm -hmm. that's right. The voice actors capture the personalities of the characters they portray really... Ah, no! They do not... Well, I guess we wouldn't know, huh? Well, they capture the well, wait, personalities, wait, 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 wait. all right. Is he watching it in Japanese? If he's watching the Japanese, then we can't even, we wouldn't even know. Especially during monologues or conflicts. The OP and ED were some of the very few generics uh, that I constantly skipped. Uh, they were too slow, paced, and fluffy for my taste. Uh, the background music also didn't uh, really stand out, but it wasn't unpleasant. Yeah, the opening and ending music. I mean, the opening music was... Oh, jeez. I feel like that was... It's like, it's like a psychological trigger because when it would start, it would be like... How did it start again? Like, how did it go? Yeah. When you heard that, you were like, oh, no. <laughs> Get ready to be bored for the next 20 minutes. Like, I know. You know what? It was like the an alarm. The opening is boring. It's like slow na, na, panning na, na, through na, people if I standing die. in their backyard drying clothes. Na, 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 na. Like that's almost like a nightmare, man. <laughs> Dude, that yeah, that opening was nightmare fuel. Like that, like it wasn't music. That was like that was like a military. Like how do I put it? It was like an alarm that wakes you up to something. It was like it was like a signal alarm. It was like one of those alarms that are that make a certain sound for you to know like whether it's breakfast or dinner. That's what it was for us. It was like the alarm sound ah. for a boring anime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um the ending the ending I don't even remember much because we always use I always took off my headphones and talked during the credits. Mm -hmm. So I don't remember how the ending sounded, Me but I'm neither. sure it was boring too. Yeah. Um let's real quick see his enjoyment level. All right, go ahead. Fruits Basket really isn't enjoyable unless you're a fan of slow-paced, warmth and fuzzy feelings. You hear that? Inducing. You people that keep defending this thing, <laughs> you like slow-paced, warmth and fuzzy feeling shit. After this, I do want to read a good one. Okay. Like a positive review. Okay. Uh, yeah, feelings inducing series that stretch... <clears throat> <laughs> Stretch too much. Yeah, this is. I'm not editing this, man. Okay. That is in there. <laughs> <laughs> the stretch too much and don't get anywhere. Um, yeah, if you like that, this is for you. I expected something funny like Oran or Yamato. I don't know those. Before uh, I watching watch this, Oran. I think it's the high school club. Oh, really? High school. Something. How was that? I watched only a few episodes. Was it was kind of boring. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah, I don't know what Yamato 
Narish, N- no, Narish- I never saw that Narishiko one. is. Before watching this, yet I was thoroughly disappointed. Uh, yeah, you know, I I wasn't. I can't say I was disappointed because I I didn't have expectations. But well, I had a little bit because it was well received. I, think, I was just disappointed because I wasted like how many hours of my life on that? Like I, I was, fifteen hours. My, my I was mostly disappointed with your GIF explanation not coming through. <laughs> anyway, the, I know. Yeah, I was too. I was waiting for that. Yeah, that was I know. The reason why I was, I was waiting for it to get the real. only thing that kept me alive. <laughs> uh, yeah, waiting for that moment. I was like, come on, it's coming any minute now. Anyway, the whole anime seemed to be a mixture of randomly thrown in characters trying to act dramatic and special but not leaving any particular positive impression. They are predictable, boring, and irrelevant. They, yeah, they weren't interesting. Also, I really couldn't get over the few logic flaws, like Japan leaving its orphans to suffer intense, <laughs> <laughs> Toru being able to magically teleport herself from the forest to a cemetery. Well, I guess uh, there... I, what? I guess there wasn't during the last episode or the two sudden mood changes. So no, okay. I guess I, uh, by teleportation, he doesn't literally mean that. He means bad editing where they didn't, you know. Yeah, but I mean, as far as the plot about the tent thing, if he just means, if he means like her grandparents not doing anything about it, she was only there for like a day, maybe a week. And then also they were on the Soma property. So it wasn't like it was in public or it was like, in, in the woods in the woods or anything or in the city like it was on private property so as far as the authorities thought it was the Soma tent you know mm-hmm. so that was that didn't make sense but I agree with most everything he said I don't even think I have anything to add to nope. that that made perfect sense alright let's see a 10 out of 10 review 10 yes ten. let's do this one because it's super short is it I remember how short it was ten. oh so okay this is it alright Fruits Basket oh you want me to read uh, I'll, I'll do it mm-hmm. i do it uh, okay uh, Fruits Basket is a wonderful and moving story which I consider myself fortunate enough to have been shown by a very close friend this oh. anime <laughs> is so amazing ah. touched upon the strings of my heart ah. I laughed <coughs> I cried I truly felt for each ah. of the characters <laughs> what? Dude, you can tell freaking that that cliche I laughed, I cried. Oh, that's a cliche thing to say. Dude. That uh What is wrong with this person? I wow, okay. I let's just hear why. Um <laughs> the anime is centered around a young girl by the name of Toru Honda, an amazing high school girl who is kind and honest and it starts anime she is struggling to survive after her monster mother's <laughs> <laughs> mother's tra- I got monsters on the mind mother's tragic death she is taken into the household of the cursed uh, family the Somas yeah okay so we talked about that already alright animation uh, and sound it is decently done it is uh, done beautifully but the main atta- uh, attraction of this anime is not the art but but the story the characters the story and now, the characters now see you've gotta be balanced though you've gotta say good and bad about it otherwise I don't believe you yeah, but I true. like I mean everything we've talked about before the characters I don't think the animation was decent uh, it uh, Oh, well, it's decent, I guess. Wait, Not what? anything to write. Animation. It wasn't anything to write home about. And, home, and Fruits Basket? Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, for the time, sure, it was good. All right, so sound. Again, decently done. The in- de- Why is she saying decently? She's in a 10 out of 10. Yeah, what? If, decently if you're done? 10 out of 10, perfect rating, then... You, you can't just say decent. You have to say amazing. Um, the intro and uh, ending songs are the credit, to, uh, are a credit to the singer and composers. Uh, I'd keep them on my MP3. Ugh! <laughs> other than that, the rest of the soundtrack is well placed, but doesn't reach out like uh, a few other animes I know. Again, recently, uh, decently done, and not the reason I love this anime. Now the music, though. Like we said before, it really yeah. puts you to sleep. Even uh, even I I downloaded a hip hop version of the intro, and even that one I I can't I can't do. It's it's very I don't know. I keep scrolling down. <laughs> it's it really puts you to sleep. It's I, the way that I explain the music. I think is it just sounds like a lullaby. It sounds like yeah, one of those wind does. up like ding, it's a ding, lullaby. Ding, 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 that was ding. such a bad like yeah. It does really sound like a lullaby. I could picture a mother. Maybe Japan. Sleeping <laughs> the daughter to sleep. Or children to try to sleep with that. All right, and so maybe... Oh, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, I was just going to say, um... Like, 
they got to be careful and make sure it's not going to make people tired and like, oh. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Let's find out why she loves this. She just, she already said it's not why she loves it. So, oh, so many things I want to, I want to type here. Oh, obviously not. Obviously written, not. Written like a hundred words at <laughs> most. Uh, oh, so many things I want to type here, but I don't want to spoil anything. I strongly feel that no review should even come close to touching a spoiler. Each character is amazing and wonderful. Well, if you put spoilers, uh, I cannot say more than each character has made me laugh, smile, cry, and think. Um, <laughs> well, I cannot okay, say more than each character. Each character. I cannot say more than that was worded weird. Each character, dude. Oh man. Okay, I'll take every this. character. Okay. I will give you a one-word response to how each character made me feel. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. I'll start with Toru. Cringe. Made me cringe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kyo, annoying. Yuki, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Ayame, wait, well, he was actually funny. I'll give him funny for that. Is Ayame the Ayame the girls? snake? Oh yeah, you Kigure, like him. entertaining, slightly. Who's Kigure? Kigure is a dog. High school girls. Oh, okay. High school girls, <laughs> all for me. I liked him. <laughs> uh, and I think I think if I were to give Kigura one, it would be annoying. Kigura? Uh, that's that's Kyo's girlfriend, or wants to be girlfriend. Mm. Ah, all right, story and enjoyment. Let's find out why she loves it. Each character's past the story is touching it to discover and moving to watch. I, th I think I like Kyo's. Kyo's past was pretty interesting with the mm. with being isolated. Uh, everybody hating him um, and him per turning into this ugly monster. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, T Toru was a little bit emotional when it's like she was the she was a rice ball in in the game Fruits Basket. Mm -hmm. It that was interesting, but she just her character was so annoying. I, I couldn't feel for her. I I had no sympathy for her whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Each character past the story is touching blah, blah, blah. Uh, Each one is original, sad, and tragic. Not original. What's original about being isolated? About being the odd one out. That's not original. Mm. It's tragic, I would say. Sad, maybe. Can Toru help break three... Can Toru help break three curse? Can Toru bring happiness to this strange, tragic family? If you're like if you're like me... Uh, wow. Spell grammar much, please? Mm. Uh, <laughs> won't be able to stop yourself from watching to find out. If I could rank higher than a 10 of enjoyment, I would. Oh... <laughs> Man, no. I, I don't think this girl has watched. Her. What's her name? Sand Golem. Sand, Sand Golem. Golem. I don't know, boy, dude. I don't think this person has watched very many animes, to be honest. Like, even if you say this anime was great, I there's no way you can give it above a seven or an eight. Its average rating is seven point five, or it was an eight point five, something like that. But I this this I don't know about this. Hmm. I had no enjoyment whatsoever. No, nope. I don't know, man. Buddy. <laughs> All right, so let's let's say okay. So what he this might get fun. What would you have liked to see out of Fruits Basket? <clears throat> like, what were you expecting to see versus what you saw, and 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 blending the two together of what you would want to have seen. Well, what I was expecting wasn't very much, just because I knew so little about it. Uh, all I had to go off was the title, and I saw the cover art. <laughs> so that's all I had to go off before watching it. What would you have liked to have seen? Well, wait, wait, wait. Oh, that's you weren't done. what I was expecting. Oh, right, here we go. You, go ahead. So, go ahead. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess what, all I wanted to say was the title, like, what? Oh, well, okay, the title did come into play. It is. It's a game Basket the kids game. play. Right. Mm -hmm. That was really the, the main theme was the zodiacs, but fruits basket is, is is the is the metaphorical theme for the anime because it's about being uh, singled out. Okay, it's about being alone. All right, that's fine. All right, I'm done with that. So, what would I have liked to have seen? Uh, well, like I said, I, I the whole idea of like zodiac hunters, zodiac <laughs> hunters. Oh, you know what? Yeah, like. Uh, they could have thrown in. They could have thrown in so much. They could have had some, like maybe some, 
like close to death experiences like oh he's gonna get hunted down there's there's like this like like this badass in a motorcycle <laughs> rolls in the <laughs> rolls like, in what the I want to know is why like, <laughs> why was Toru's mom why did she look so badass why was she like in a mouth pee, like it had a covering over her mouth she had a katana for crying out loud did she and she had leather yeah. pants and she looked all badass Maybe the katana was in my head. But. Yeah, it never ima- it never explained if she like we theorized that maybe she was a zodiac hunter, but it never went into that. <laughs> yeah. Stupid. And we can only assume, okay, so she probably was killed because she was a zodiac hunter and got <laughs> It's a conspiracy. <laughs> like stupid. So they don't explain that. So I would have liked some I would okay, I would have liked to see some more in depth a lot more depth uh, into Toru's past. Mm-hmm. How her mom died? What her well, mom? Her mom died like, in car some accident. flashbacks about her hanging out with her mom. She, we had some of those, but they were a few seconds long, and they were just her reading to Toru. Oh, like, to not to sleep. Yeah, she, no, she did say something like, "Oh, I live vicariously through you," or something like that. Mm-hmm. So there was a couple of those, but not nearly to the extent that that you wanted. And what I yeah. agree that I would like to see the way they had done it should have been better. So not really nice, good, deep in depth of, of her history with her mom. Um. Yeah, it would have been cool for some like. I mean, I'm not saying everything has to be action packed, but <laughs> maybe for some stakes, you know, they could have like a, a a zodiac hunter rolls into town or something. Yeah. And like they gotta hide from him or something. Maybe I don't know something with zodiac hunters because they're only mentioned. We never see any. <laughs> no, they never mentioned zodiac hunters. I don't think they did. Yeah. They n- no, they never said that. Why do we? Ha- what? No, they did. Where? When? All right. I <laughs> <laughs> got got to find it here. <laughs> is this the wiki? No. It's the middle one or the left one. Okay. I I there has to be a part of it. What? <laughs> Dude, that we did some psychops on you, man. What? Zodiac hunter. <laughs> huh? There's <laughs> never any zodiac hunters, dude. Oh, that's hilarious. You you fell for our own in joke. <laughs> what? No, that wasn't an in joke. You didn't make that up. Yeah. You made that up? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that man. Everyone's everything. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that? Why did you make me no, think no wonder that Connor? No wonder you enjoyed it more than <laughs> you should have. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, man, that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, there never what? was a time that they mentioned Zodiac. The reason why we said Zodiac hunters is because Toru's mom looked so badass when they showed a picture of her. And she then she had, dies. Yeah, she had like a she had like a a, a a thing over. I don't know. I'm forgetting the word, but she had like a mask a mask over her face. Yeah. Um, and she, I'm pretty darn sure she was holding a katana, but even if she wasn't, she had like this long overcoat on and she had like leather pants. She looked bad ass, dude. It was like, dude, freaking Zodiac. And then me and James, we were like, dude, she's a Zodiac hunter. And then that's where it started. Hmm. That was like, that was back. Like when she went to go visit the family in the house, they all said that she was like a prostitute or whatever. That would have been an interesting story. Yeah. Go into that more. But no. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, I, so all I expected was, I mean, I expected more. I expected that the Zodiacs turn, they, they were Zodiacs, but I thought that they had like a monster form and I thought we were going to see more stuff like, like, like what we're watching with Karen now, where it's like they're monsters and they're outcasts. And I thought we were going to see them actually in interact with the city of Japan. I thought they were going to like go out into the city and interact with civilization and, 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 and people and be monsters and be like, yeah, we try to hide it. We try not to kill people. And I thought like they kill animals to eat or something. I thought they'd like hunt be monsters and like they wouldn't have to, they, they wouldn't have to like, uh, um, you know, eat humans anymore or kill humans and they, and they could feast on animals and that would, that would, that would turn them back into humans or they, they like, they wouldn't be able, they wouldn't have to turn into Zodiac so much as long as they kept the diet of like flesh or something. I don't know. Something stupid like that. And then naturally there'd be Zodiac hunters too, because the same way you have vampire hunters, you'd have Zodiac hunters. Yeah. So. And Karen's a shoujo anime, but, but there's vampires and vampire hunters in that one. Mm. Even though it's a lighthearted shoujo girly anime, you still manage to get hunters in there, even though the hunter's a derp. Mm-hmm. But that's what I thought was going to happen. I thought we were going to see Zodiac, but I thought that you like you had a zodiac dog right he would transform into a dog but if if if, if he had some type of 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 stimulant he would turn into a wolf 
and like every Zodiac would have their evil version of themselves and like you bear, dare not cross them oh. and then I thought Toru was gonna be like the girl who comes in and doesn't know that they're Zodiacs and like she and then like halfway through the anime anim, I keep going to animes <laughs> animes <laughs> halfway through the anime she would like wake up with like this monster over her bed and it'd be like what <laughs> so yeah. crazy and then ah uh, dude it would have been so good and then we could have had the storyline of of Kyo as people Kyo being aggressive and then Yuki you know trying to calm him down and Toru trying to come in and help them and and I like the aspect how Toru could could relax Kyo in his monster form and be like oh I love you and I'm not letting go of you like that was a cool concept like and Hulk and Black Widow. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then maybe, maybe Toru could have been the thing that saves them from their monster forms. Like maybe they never had a human that was willing to calm them down. I'm sorry, I'm <laughs> That would have been so awesome. Excited. That would have been Yeah, awesome. then we have Zodiac Hunters in there, and then Toru. Ah! Oh! And then, like we said, <laughs> Toru's mom being a Zodiac Hunter, and what if Toru comes from a line of Zodiac Hunters? <laughs> Yeah, and she finds she doesn't know though, but she finds out like towards the end of the no, 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 no. <laughs> they find out, and then they start oh. to question her. Yes, and she's like, "What? I don't know." <laughs> uh -huh. And so it slowly comes out that she's a family of the Zodiac Hunters, and then, dude, write this down. <laughs> We're making a better anime right now. <laughs> and then, and then the Zodiacs come to hunt him, and then Toru is like, "No, don't kill them. <laughs> They're my friends. We can all get and along." A big old battle. <laughs> yeah, oh, it always has to come down to a battle. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but dude, ah, oh, and then you could still in the filler episode you could have still have no had, fillers. Nope. Wh what? Come on, you need the fillers for the ladies so they can have their mushy, mushy, gushy. Well, the only reason stuff. anime do fillers is because they're tr waiting for the manga to catch up. Well, Toru. Well, okay. I'm just, I'm just trying to keep the anime as close to how its original form as possible. Okay. You oh, can okay. keep the fillers. And with those fillers, use those to dive into the emotion and dive into the Kyo liking. Well, then it wouldn't be filler. Because it would be developing That's true, stuff. that's true. Yeah. It wouldn't be filler. All they needed to do was instead of filler, added the Zodiac hunting stuff, added the Zodiac monsters, and then we still could have gotten We we it, could yeah, develop their personality. Yeah, in civilized life, we still could have gotten the the, the, the the characters being being isolated because they couldn't they couldn't tell anybody about their zodiac uh monster forms or their zodiac forms in general. And we could have had all of that. And we should have had their relationship with Toru and Kyo and Yuki develop more where she should have picked one of them at the end. She should have picked Yuki, in my opinion, had some of that going on. And then Kigure and Kyo could have gotten together and and it would and then to actually have some type of development there should have been something at the end of the anime where it was like Toru was a completely different person that's what we needed to see we needed to see Kyo get over all of his past issues not be aggressive and just be like I understand now that I need to be a better person and I need to do this and like actually lay out his life like say like this is what I'm gonna be now and then be that person we needed a few episodes to see them change and to see them be new and, and fresh and ah oh, jeez oh and then Toru I don't know what Toru would do. Be, not, be less whiny. Yeah. She needed to be more mature, I mean, less can, whiny. She can still have that personality trait where like she's trying to make everyone happy and help people out, but mm -hmm. not as oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, when I get excited I start yelling. Mm -hmm. I apologize. This will be, <laughs> be a late night discussion, mm -hmm. relaxed and everything. Oh jeez. Mm -hmm. Well, you know. Oh man, yeah, that's that's what I would like to see. What you would like to see. Yeah, I already mentioned. I already mentioned it. It would. It, I like the idea of like, uh, you know, they they can't hook up with normal humans. Mm -hmm. so yeah, they got to. They got to dive into. Yeah, dive into like, oh man, so lonely. You know, there's no uh, zodiac women around or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's true. You notice that there was only like two zodiac girls. The rest of them were all dudes. It's because Toru, the main character, is a girl. Right, and in shoujo's, the women have to be surrounded by boys. Mm -hmm. Boring. <laughs> yeah. I guess it could be interesting mm -hmm. in a certain way. Yeah, well, scenarios, mm -hmm. of course. <laughs> uh, man, did you want to? Do you want to read some comments? I guess. Yeah, let's have some comments. We covered pretty much most everything. So yeah. let's let's see if we can't get anything more interesting. Is... Do I have the comments over here? No, oh, I don't. Nope. I have the comments over here. Bring up YouTube. Bro. Um, no, let's do, let's do this. Let's keep it on the other screen here, and we'll just go through them. Do you want to go to older comments first, or do you want to read the top ones down? 
Well, with the Lily Hart saga, <laughs> <laughs> you might want to read them in Damn. order. <laughs> you might want to read them in order. Yeah, man, you gotta scroll all the way down. I wonder, is there a, is there a search function on the in the comments that I can look for? Just, search comments. Just Lily? Oh, okay. Let's. Uh, uh, okay, hold on. Liller. Oh fuck. All right, give me a second to open these up here. What? No, it's with a Y, dude. No, it's with an E. No. Lily. Mm -hmm. I a... just looked at it. <laughs> I just looked at it. <laughs> See? Two L's and a Y. It's a fucking lame way to spell Lily. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn, dude. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. All right, we got to read through the Lily socks. Fuck ice cream. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> ice cream. Damn. Whoa. This is a lot. Jeez. Oh, boy. Give me a moment here. Give Ho us a hopefully... second. Hopefully... Oh boy, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to read all these. Well, we're not gonna read them all. We'll just skim. Oh yeah. We'll just there skim. we go. All right, all right. Oh, uh, from the very it started seven months ago. <laughs> Lily Hart said, "Why isn't this part of the playlist?" Well, well you're not gonna read the stupid ones. <laughs> oh, not that any of the comments are stupid. <laughs> we're just gonna read the good ones, all one of them. Uh, no, okay. So oh, wait, that's our fruit bit. Oh, yeah, that yeah, is fruit basket. Okay. Yeah, it is. Uh, all right, so. Back on episode four, <gasps> Luke. Fruit Spat. What? Look at what? This is the first time she's heard someone talk bad about Fruit oh, Basket. Oh, I was about to read it. Jeez, oh, you're like, oh, I was like, what? I was just so like, that's interesting. <laughs> this is actually the first time Lily says I have heard someone talk bad about Fruits Basket. Uh, but you, but you know, I read the manga, so I know more things about it. And scream. Because in the show, they dropped at least two main characters. Oh, like we needed more. I know, right? Like we needed more. <laughs> well, they're probably good. They're probably better. Um, you know what? I think I think we can have this screen up in here. That's not a problem. Yeah. I just I, I just didn't know if there's anything. Jackie Gray that, hates it. Axe uh, Warrior likes it. <laughs> I haven't liked it. Wait, hold on. What did, did I say? I? I feel you, the anime. I'm getting there. Hold okay. on. I thought it'd be funny. Yeah, yeah. Really All right, then Jackie hates it. Axe Warrior likes it. I'm in the middle. Not my type of anime. I however, guess I okay. liked it at first. No, yeah, you and me actually did like it. Um, I guess it sounded better like that. No, but you and me liked it. I remember you and me being like, oh, this isn't so bad. Like, yeah, this is nice. It's coming and back to me It was relaxing now. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, taking, talking about a scort. <laughs> She loves this episode. Uh, episode 7. Love it. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. So we, we got to make sure we read some of these because we've been missing so much crap. Episode 8. Oh, dude. This is the Chipotle episode. I want some for Chipotle. <laughs> with some lead. 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 Uh, All right. So Akito is the head of the Soma family. So basically what we're doing right now is we're reading everything that we missed in the anime because Lily Hart has our, has our backs on this, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, illness in the anime. In the manga, it's confusing. That is who what? That is who Hatari uh, is talking about, and the rabbit is Momoji. Momoji. I don't give a fuck about that. Hatori is the dragon. Kana is not Toru's mother. Wait, dragon? Where's the dragon? We never there got to dragon? see a dragon. What? We never got to see a dragon. Kana and Hatari are family members, uh, but more like very distant relatives. Kana is also not a zodiac animal. Sorry to just tell you and not let you figure it out all out. But the show doesn't let doesn't tell you outright, and Kana and Toru aren't related. One last. Zodiac, oh my god, doesn't pass day from parent to child. I think it's like a random soma. What? Names you need to remember. Ah, oh, <laughs> we were pronouncing them wrong. <laughs> Probably. Momiji is Ouija. Momiji. Mo remember the song? The birds and the bees, something, something. Dun -dun -dun Momiji. <laughs> that was awful. Momiji sung that? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, nothing to comment on because you guys didn't listen to the damn thing. That <laughs> well, <laughs> fuck you too. <laughs> I am so kind enough to. S oh yeah, Lily Hart, the kindest person. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's Day, so much get lots of chocolates. Girls throw away other girls' chocolate. Kyo 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 runs from Kagura. Toru has chocolate for everyone, and I mean everyone. White Day is a holiday one month after Valentine's Day. Oh, I see. Okay, one more thing. Okay, one of the uh, first thing you're telling YouTube. Oh, wait, I'm telling all of the YouTubers. Oh, cool. This is actually kind of cool. That I'm subscribed to what color? Uh, I associate. That's exactly Lily Hard Burp there. <laughs> Them with Y and you are. I'm. Oh, cool. So I'm coffee brown because when she sees uh, coffee, it makes her think uh, of me. Uh, so she says, then I think of Fruits Basket, which leads me to th check your channel again for another episode. Ha! That's what I'm talking about. 
I made her think about Fruits Basket when she thinks of coffee, which makes her think of me. That's how you do it. That's <laughs> how you do it. Take a lesson, boys. That's how it's done. Uh, get a beef, get beef on her. Beef usually means dirty sequels. Oh, no, it another, doesn't. This is another. Ah, it's another. Ah, oh, <laughs> no. Only, okay. Uh, better not fucking hate Kisa. Hate Hero, but not fucking Kisa. No, it's hugs and stress. But not the bloody curse. Wait, it is the bloody curse. They don't need logic. Yeah, you need logic. Dude, that was stupid in anime. Sometimes when they would hug a girl, they <laughs> turn into a zodiac, and sometimes they wouldn't. Remember? They would touch Tori. Yeah, there were times where a girl would touch them. Well, okay, to be fair, didn't they say it's only when they get excited? It's, it's hugs and stress, she says. But in the anime, at least in English, they said it was when you get excited. Sexually excited, yeah. Well, not sexually excited. Yeah, just sexually excited. excited. No, well, oh, yes, oh. but so when a girl touches you, it's not sexual. It's just you're just no, excited. Wait, no, you, I, it's the same. <laughs> it, it, excitement is an overall term. <laughs> you narrowed it into sexual <laughs> arousal. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? She says. I'm not even gonna correct your stupid theories. <laughs> Zodiac hunter, Zodiac hunter. Yeah, I guess that was our theory. I, I mean, apologize, was, Lily, for that for hating on your favorite anime. I really am sorry. Uh, so I tend to make voice. Oh, okay. So okay, wait. That the question. Uh, this was a question of the day. This is very interesting. Oh. It was do. It was something like, do you manipulate boys, or do you like, do you do you? Uh, well, let's read her answer and let's find out. I'll know what this thing is. Secret. Oh, it was what your secret is. It was, it was, do you have a secret of what it is? It's just, oh. Lily Hard says, I tend to make my voice slightly higher and softer so that I come out sounding cuter when I'm around a total boy, hot boy or girl. I also change the way, uh, the way that I talk. No one notices, but it's sometimes that I do and I am very well aware of it. You evil devil. <laughs> it actually has a huge effect on them. They tend to oblige to my comments, uh, commands, uh, without question. It's also a confidence booster, but no one notices I change because I do it so often. Oh, I guess I also use it to get out of trouble. It works on any, on anyone, even teachers. She is right. Well, well, well. Assuming it's a she. Uh, no, I want to see the fuck ice cream. Fuck ice cream? Yeah, that moment when you don't even like ice cream. So far, Kisa and Hiro are totally in love, and Hiro is struggling with his feelings. That's about it. Fuck ice cream, but... That was the like episode it. that uh, the little kid... I guess it's Hiro. Well, that's the, name. the squish hug. No, uh, I think I added, I put that in there because James fell asleep. No, I remember you guys being ew to the squish noise. Was it the same episode then? Cause the well, look, they're in bed together. Well, no, she's he... talking about ice cream though. And ice cream was the episode where the little kid was getting ice cream for Kisa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did we say we didn't like ice cream? No, it was because the kid had ice cream. So she was just talking about ice cream. Why did she say you don't like ice cream? I don't know, dude. Don't ask me. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait. All right, uh, so that's all of that's all of her. Let, let's, all right, let's get back to the normal comments here. The main, yeah, everybody. Uh, we'll just uh, scroll down a little bit and problem. see what people had to say. Okay. Uh, where are we now? That's twenty. All right, let's let's just start here, I guess. Oh boy, you guys are so wrong. But it's almost over. The boy's name is Hero of the Soma family. <laughs> Fuck that boy and your mother. <laughs> And his mother. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no idea what you said. Dude, Anonymous, Anonymous 20, that's my favorite subscriber right there. <laughs> mm, boy. Y'all always got something good to say. I am infinitely wise, and you will be me. I am the mighty commenter. I think I said something. Oh, we commented about uh, Ian in one of the videos. I, I need to find something good about someone talking about the, the anime here. Oh, here we go. Oh, this was a comment I was telling you about. I learned so much from you guys. First David and now James. You really do have black magic, Mocha. I what? think you guys are you guys were disappearing through the ep episodes. Oh. So you were missing, and then now James was missing in that episode. Mm. Um, and then uh, hopefully he'll be back for the last two episodes at least. And you were. You came back. But James, never to be seen again. He was in the last two episodes, as he desires here. Mm-hmm. Ah, thanks, Bookworm. Love your reactions. You guys are hilarious. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, a man and a woman must agree that they are in a serious relationship before dedicating uh, to one another. Isn't that correct? Now, I did. I, I, added, I asked a question, but that was in prison schools. So we're not going to read that. Oh, uh, prison school. I think, every, I think why everyone likes Toru is because she is really selfless and always put others before herself. Now, I agree, disagree with that. I even said it in the comment here. Yeah. I actually do think that she is um, an egotistic altruist. 
Um, I don't think that she's selfless. I think, I know we talked about this on the show already. I think that Toru, um, I think that she has this, this issue where she, she, if she doesn't try to help people and if she doesn't try to, um, fix their problems, she feels depressed. She feels worthless. She feels like she is not, um, like she, she, she gets in a bad mood. So it's about keeping her personality, like keeping her stress down. If she doesn't help people and she doesn't try to fit, even if, okay. And also this, with this personality type, <coughs> she doesn't have to actually fix the problem. She just has to think she's fixing. She has to do busy work. She has to get in your face, whine that there's a problem. And then, so make a problem. Then she has to fix the problem and say that she's only doing it because she cares about it. She wants to look like a good person. And the only reason why she's doing it is to keep her own stress levels down. She doesn't give a shit about anyone else. Mm. So I disagree. Toru is not selfless. And always putting others before her, I just I just addressed that. You got anything to say about that? Nothing at all. Ma- what? You say something? I guess there's one character like that only put in one episode. Motoko was in at least episode 18, and watching that video made me laugh because I was so nice. And now I'm like... Listen here, you little shits. You are fucking wrong. That's not her name. What the fuck is a Zodiac Hunter? Mm-hmm. What the fuck is Zodiac Hunter? Toru's mom! <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> there we Toru's go. Toru's mom! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who Matoko uh, is. I wish I had seen that comment so I'd know. Oh, that's not a thing. <laughs> um, I don't have, even have crushes. No, it's not important. Uh, anyone else? Wolf Dude. Uh, that's a great video. I enjoyed hearing your opinions about prison school. Oh, that's the prison school discussion. I saw mm. blue and I just went with it. Uh, the whole Soma family needs help. Why haven't anyone checked up on the extended family? Why haven't anyone checked up? Uh, that's that's weird English. I don't even know what you just said. <laughs> this is uh, this is Nick Mitchell, by the way, the guest we had on who did that episode with us. Bravo, bravo. Mm. Um, yeah. Um, well, this sounds like a lot here. All right, so the reason he didn't turn in. Turn. Turn is because they are both Zodiacs, and he considers Kagura as a best friend. Similar to the three of you guys, would you get excited if James or David hugged you? (laughs) The reason why he doesn't like Kagura uh, the same way, because she is someone that is going going through the same pain he is, being part of the Soma family and being cursed with a Zodiac. So he wants someone who is normal to accept him. Um... (laughs) <laughs> but I would get excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would. <laughs> um, but yeah, so Kagura hugging him doesn't turn him in. So we're talking about, you were talking about sexual excitement. Guess people excited. So you would get excited if your quote unquote girlfriend hugged you. Mm-hmm. But, but Anonymous 20 here is saying that because he doesn't get excited because they're going through the same pain, but that doesn't mean anything just because you guys are going through the same issues. You still get excited if someone hugs you or a girl hugs you. I mean, I don't care even if you don't care about the girl. If, if you're a dude and you get boobs pressed against your chest... I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're not live. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a form of excitement that comes along. Oh, with that. I agree. <laughs> what in the world? That was ten times worse. <laughs> oh, I agree. <laughs> there, see, now you feel better. Now you don't look as bad. <laughs> I don't think I'm in good company. Um, similar to the three of you guys. So, yeah, I think he would still get excited. That uh, is a stupid plot hole that just because she's going through the same issues uh, as him that he doesn't get excited. And But I do agree. I would agree with this comment saying in the terms of, like, the story and, and how he wants a girlfriend. He may just want a girlfriend that's not going through the same issues as him. However, having a girlfriend that's going through the same issues as you, she can better understand what you're going through and can help. But he wants he wants a girl to accept him that's not, um, that's not, and that's what, that's what Anonymous here is saying, um, that he wants a girlfriend that, that's not in his realm of Zodiacs and that he wants to be accepted by somebody. So that makes sense. That's pretty good. I like that. Mm. Um, let's see, who else has anything good to say? I mean, it's all good, but, you know, I post these comments all over the videos anyway. I just want to get the little highlights here. Mm-hmm. Um... So, okay, so let me make sure you guys get the story before the end of the anime. Soma family is an extended family tree, but only certain people get cursed. The cat is the only one that has a true form because cat 
isn't actually part of the Zodiac. The martial arts teacher is part of the Soma family, so he has to listen to the head of the Somas. Uh, it, I, it is incest. <laughs> yeah, and then Anonymous says not exactly. But um, the extended family tree. So, he, so okay, that's why Kyo can turn into the monsters because he's not a Zodiac. But he is, though. Isn't, a, isn't the cat, is a cat Zodiac? And the yeah. Zodiac is excluded. Or is he excluded because he's not a Zodiac? Oh, is there 12 Zodiacs for every month, but he's the 13th Zodiac? Is that why? He doesn't have a month. That's why he's excluded. I don't know. I don't know. But that's why, I guess. That's why he has a true form. But that's stupid. Hmm. They all should have a true form. That's retarded. That nah, would have been cool that way. I don't feel like reading all of this. No. Uh, yes. uh, but after watching this, you made me completely hooked to this show. Oh, that's Bigata. Ah, uh, see you more food. Oh, Bigata. Yes. Yeah, we got someone to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? If, if just one person can fall in love with an anime because of what we did, I'm, I'm happy with that. Mm -hmm. um, this is why you should have been paying attention. Tiss, tiss. We must have forgot something. I'm sure we explained crying reasons. Um, oh, look. A-Rat. I'm happy I found this channel. Oh, thank you, A-Rat. We appreciate you. Yeah, it's a super secret club. Hey, welcome, cool to club. <laughs> welcome to our club. Welcome to our club. Welcome, Squidward. Welcome, Squidward. Welcome, Squidward. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, the last uh, one's big out of. All right, let's read this last comment here. Uh, first, uh, this is the... Oh, it's not the finale, actually. Oh, the finale one is here. But uh, this, this is just Amai and Ira telling us to watch the Japanese version, and that okay. is better in Japanese and so forth. Um, so first, I'm sorry that this is late. Had a lot of important uh, dancing-related things to do. Second, I will spare mercy on you idiots. Uh, I always love the, the loving tone, Lily Hart's... Uh, brings to the table Lily Hart mm -hmm. uh, has always had an uh, electric wave powers it's what makes her an outcast Hana is trying to make Toru talk to Kyo and Uru <laughs> is like no wait my precious Toru is crying I must help Saki is crying because she can't help Toru this time now the electric powers on is it Hana? It's Hana, right? Or Anna? I think it's Anna. Well, yeah, right. Hana slash The purple Saki. girl. Dude, she was so hot. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, let's look, look her up, actually. Oh, uh, yes, yes. Where, where, uh... Oh, it's in the other window. On Google Images, dude. Not the wiki. Well, I mean, we're so close. We're so close. Dude, Anna was my girl, dude. Mm, she there she is. She was so cute. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, look at that. Like, see, I, it, to, it, Toru had a derp face, but that's, like, better. Wait, how do I get the pictures of her like we did with Toru? Oh, yeah, she looks weird report. there. <laughs> uh, yeah, because these are fan-made, I think. All right, let's just, let's type these in on, let's do this Google Images here. Mm -hmm. Ha, whoop, ape. Oh, ooh, we're already on images here. L the next tab. Yeah. I hope we don't, uh, I hope we don't get anything naughty. Uh. That makes one of us. Well, <laughs> more editing for me to do. <laughs> ah, dude, look at the dude. She's so cute. Mm. Oh, my God. You know, no, 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 no. She's not a cute. She's more of like a hot. Like a beautiful. You know what? I, you know what? Depending on how she looks in real life, I know this is going to sound weird, but I'd actually give her kind of a, I'd give her the description of handsome. Like, uh, like how they say in the old days, a handsome yeah. woman. Uh, yeah, look at that, dude. Man, I mm -hmm. wanted to see more of her, man. More of those electric powers, dude. Mm, give me the... Yeah, like, bits. especially when her hair is loose. Like, like she, she usually wore a braided. Ah! Oh, my God. Beautiful. Yeah, dude, I want to see a... I want to see a, a, a... More of her. A, another side story of, of Hana, dude. Oh, my God. Mm. Yeah. I don't have much to say about her because she wasn't in the anime no, that much. No, she wasn't in it at all. Oh, look, here's her using her powers a little bit. I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay, so I don't even know what to say. Should we about start wrapping this up? Do you have anything else? Because after this, we are wrapping it up. There is no more talk of Fruits Basket on this channel I ever again. I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> never put again. A, put, a, put a pin in that. Not a pin. Complete I, trash. I think, I think the most you'll hear from us bringing this anime up in the future is this is so much better than Fruits Basket yeah I know <laughs> only to like do a reference of how like of what how much better this is than that or whatever we're currently watching which right. we're done with uh, you said it actually we're watching Bigata and you're like ah, this is so much better than Fruits Basket <laughs> you said it so excitedly too yeah so oh man I just feel like I feel like there's something else to say I don't know well you know how about this let's just do this so Scheduling for the um, uh, don't kick the power strip under there. That thing is. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Loose. yeah well. um, but yeah, that. so we're gonna continue watching. Um, Bigata HK is out. Um, Fruits Basket is done. Oh, next week, Karen. 
Karen, we're watching Karen, um, which the chibi I vampire. Been liking less as it gets. Yeah, it it. It, all, it it started already better than Fruits Basket. I liked it for a bit, but it's really losing us. Yeah, not the 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 cardboard personality of mm-hmm. the main love interest, the boy, the guy yeah. is really. But but it's not it's not a review for Karen. (laughs) (laughs) But anyway, catch us on Karen. We would love to see you guys watch our reactions and reviews to Karen. Um, That's coming out on Thursdays. It takes the place of Fruits Basket, and then of course on Tuesdays at noon are always our Bigata HK. Uh, We don't know what we're gonna watch after Bigata, but we'll figure it out. Um, we always love to have people comment, come in, tell us what you thought of the episode. It could be more direct, too, review it episode by episode. And another thing, as a channel update, too, I'm not sure we've been... Uh, I don't think I don't think the current uh, uploads have more of us talking, but we're going to soon start uploading where... The, you know what we talk for the first, like, 40 minutes... Or minutes? 40 seconds <laughs> to a minute of the episode... And I'm thinking about adding to that, making it a little bit longer, and just having like having more like, an like intro just thing. more almost like late night discussion type feel but stuff. But a mini, it's not yeah, like it's not scripted, but we we just talk about and and it's, it's almost like a vlog. We'll talk about anything, our favorite anime at the moment, what we're watching, what like we're playing, almost like not 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 quite like a channel update, but kind of like a vlog type, of, like a podcast type of feel. We're just sitting there talking about anime, about the episode. We'll try to keep it on track with the episode. Hmm. But things oh. related to like psychological topics or philosophical ideas that are related to the anime or things related. And I want to get the feedback from those of you who do comment on this channel and, and watch the content that is that something you'd be okay with? Because again, I always put a, I always put a, a not a link, but like like a I put it at the beginning a notice where the anime starts. Like I'll say like the anime starts at a minute and 40 seconds or the anime starts at 50 seconds. So you can always skip to there. You don't have to watch that first part, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think I like that. I really do like that for the channel. It, it adds a more originality to the channel because I don't want to be. I don't want to be a reaction channel. It's just, yeah, you know what it is. It's funny. You know, it's, our reactions are funny. So I want to have that, but I do want to have some more original content where we're actually talking about stuff and actually putting our two cents into it. It's actually our content, um, and at the end of the episode as well. So you can post it in the comments of this video. Let us know what you think about that idea. If that sounds like a good idea, and of course, as I always say, if you have any ideas how you think the ch- the the uh, how you think the channel would be better. Um, let us know what we could do to make this channel something that you want to come back to every week and hang out with us. What, what would make it more entertaining for you guys? What would you like to see? And uh, that's it, man. I don't know. I don't know. We're done. All right. Well, we'll see you. <laughs> Dude, I got done watching Angry Joe Show. I was like, let's see you on the next Angry Joe Show. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we'll see you uh, on Tuesday. For Begot HK at, at noon mm-hmm. Pacific time. Can't wait. Peace out, faggots. <laughs> oh, we're it up. Yeah. We gotta start saying faggot one, man. Faggots. That's our thing. Faggots. 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 And faggots. You're not the. Not is egg. There's faggots and faggots. Oh, faggots. F F A G A.